Hello, bike mechanic family. Danielle here, neutralsupport.net, bringing you a tech bulletin. On today's docket, SRAM's new DB8. So if you haven't heard already, SRAM dropped a mineral oil brake. What does that mean? All of their brakes are DOT fluid, except the DB8. So we'll see kind of where that takes us in the future. So it makes sense for them to do that. They're hard to get. Most things say that they'll be available in June, but I have one here right now to show you the new SRAM DB8. Of course, I'm joking. It's a different product than Shimano's thing, but it definitely is meant to compete with them. SRAM is clearly just making a bid to be the OEM choice for bikes on the floor, bikes in the factory, bikes shipped, because manufacturers by and large are choosing Shimano brakes, even with SRAM drivetrains. So SRAM really probably just wants to change that. And by doing a four piston brake, they're really targeting that mountain bike market so that they can get on the bikes that already have their drivetrains and be with the rest of their components. So SRAM, being the smart people that they are, are trying to get a piece of the pie. Do I think that means that SRAM is going to migrate all of their brakes to mineral oil? Absolutely not. They have a lot of technology in the DOT fluid side of things, and if they do decide to do mineral oil, it's gonna be a long time. The MSRP, if we were to buy them, is $137, so that puts them just a little tiny bit cheaper than a Dior brake, which is $144.99 MSRP, as if anybody ever pays MSRP. But if they did, those are about in step. So if we look at the Shimano four piston Dior brake and the new DB8, those are hitting that same price point. And so they're really gunning for that mountain bike market that Shimano has because Shimano brakes are so easy for manufacturers to install, DOT fluid a little rough to deal with. So SRAM is sure to tell us that they have phenolic pistons. Nobody probably knows what that means. All that it means is synthetic resin. So instead of using a ceramic, they're using a synthetic resin piston, which probably saves money in the long run and has some heat shedding capabilities that they'll probably talk up. But if you're like me, the first thing you thought about when they said they came out with a new brake is, how do I bleed it? I gave SRAM a little ring on the phone to figure it out. So there's actually no similarities in the fittings to bleed the brakes from the mineral oil version of the DB8 to the DOT fluid version of SRAM. They say that that's because they don't want you to mix the fittings up and they don't want you to use the DOT fluid and the mineral oil interchangeably, even accidentally. So the fittings to actually bleed the brake are different. And what that means is that you will need a different bleed kit. So good news, bad news. SRAM came out with a different bleed kit for this purpose. So there's a specific bleed kit that SRAM has that is meant to do this job. Bad news, they don't exist yet. The part number that I got from them, which I will put up here for you, that is the actual part number of the bleed kit. You can't actually buy it yet, but it looks like this. Astute observers will note that that looks exactly like the Jaguar bleed kit. So the Jaguar bleed kit is definitely at least made by the same people that are making the SRAM bleed kit. Since we don't have the brake in hand, we don't know yet if the fitting is actually going to be unique to the SRAM DB8 or if it's going to share a fitting or a threading with another brake style. So until we have the brake, we won't know that bit. The SRAM kit will obviously come with the correct fitting, which is just two syringes, two of these with the correct fitting. That all makes sense. Kind of hope that they come out with the bleed kit prior to the brakes actually showing up. They did launch the brakes, but if you go to SRAM's website and search for the part number that they gave me, it's nowhere to be found. In fact, it's only on this German website, which is the only place that I could find it, but it did have a picture of the bleed kit on it. But otherwise that part number is pretty useless. So it's not in any of their manuals yet, but I would go ahead and jot it down and keep looking for it because you're gonna need that bleed kit to bleed the brakes. And once the brakes start coming in, if you can't bleed them, that's gonna be a total pain. So the DB8 uses maximum mineral oil. So SRAM did not share like reverb oil or anything like that. They use maximum mineral oil for the brake and they use the same pads, the same olives, the same barbs as their other brakes. So you don't have to worry about any of that being different. You don't have to go out and buy an extra set of parts just to do that. Hose shortening, that should be the same. The thing that you will need is a new bleed kit. So definitely be on the lookout for it because that will be your key to finding the right one once they are available, whenever that is. What are you waiting for, huh? 
Hope you found this tech bulletin useful. If you did, go ahead and like it. Subscribe to the channel for more. Whenever I put one of these out, it'll tell you if you hit the bell. Comment below if you have anything to add or you have any questions. Be sure to jot down that part number. Keep it in the back of your mind. Ping Q or SRAM for it occasionally to see if it actually pops up soon. Head over to NeutralSupport.net. There's other cool stuff over there. Shirts, hats, you name it. We'll send it to you if you give us some money. Then we'll get to eat. Hope you guys have a good day.